So today is the day we finally plant out tomatoes and peppers. But first, we gotta install some things. Mm -mm. <laughs> Help me say hi. hi. All right, so the zip ties I decided to use were the extreme weather zip ties. That way these guys can last at least a full season and a half. We'll see exactly how long they, they last. I've never used this sort of trellis before, obviously. So we'll see what's happening. But now it's time to plant tomatoes. Tomatoes? Yeah, you ready to do it? Ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so normally when I plant my tomatoes, first of all, I make sure that I plant them really, really deep. I add in some fertilizer or worm castings of some sort in each hole. But this go round, I am gonna add an egg in each hole. And I just picked up some store-bought eggs. Um, these were the cheap ones. I wanna say I only bought these for like $2 for the dozen. So not organic, <laughs> not, you know, all of the fancy six dollar eggs i just got some regular old eggs because i figured they will still do the job and being that i've never done this before i didn't want to invest a lot so that's what we will be doing today at this point i'm just going to speed through the actual planting because obviously i have my little friend with me and i'm sure there, there'll be a, a few little you know challenges but we're gonna try to do this together are you ready what? are you going to help me help me Let's do it. Let's do it. Here, so come put the egg in. The egg in. Put the egg down there. Egg put it in the home. Very good. Enough for egg. I want enough for egg. Step out 
All right, got the first row in and I went on ahead and popped in some basil in between. I do still have this lettuce here and some sorrel there, but just three little basils in between. All right, I'm back. I had to go fulfill some end of the school year motherly duties. So now, and I got everything done out there, but first I had to grab a couple things. Well, I thought my bamboo sticks were gonna work, but this is what I'm dealing with every single time I snap one. So I'ma just put a pin in it, or maybe I'll use a tool to cut them clean, that way they don't fray on the ends. But I am so pleased with how everything is looking. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick look around, tell you what I did, and we're gonna wrap this thing up. So I already showed you guys this side, but the trellis looks amazing. Over here we have all of our slicers and some basil on the end. And I put all of my sweet peppers in this bed since this is the closest to Soul's Garden. So I have my eggplants right up here and then all sweet peppers down the middle and a ground cherry on the end there. So looks good. And then on this side, On this trellis here, I went on ahead and put my cherry tomatoes here and then all of my Roma types down here. And then I did have this one Brad's Atomic. You could see how just puny and itty bitty it looks. So I just stuck it on this corner. We'll see what ends up happening there. But then I put all of my spicy peppers in here because it's further from Soul's Garden where she likes, well, she'll have an area to pick. So yeah, this is what we got going on, but eventually I'll go on ahead and stake all of these peppers because some of the stems are leaning sideways, so they'll need a little bit more support just so they're not laying on the ground, like quite literally, I like that. Yeah, that is now the view of the garden. Just imagine how full that's going to look and eventually that trellis ooh, popping in. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me as I got all of these things planted out. I am so happy that it is done. I got a nice little injury in the process from my shovel rubbing up against my hand. Probably should have worn gloves, but you know, I was eager and I was on a time crunch. So I was just trying to get her done. So I thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace.